And yeah. how did your husband's <clears throat> cancer like strengthen your mindset and like help your guys' mm-hmm. bond with each other grow? I, it's definitely something very serious we've gone through together and not a lot of people go through hardships like that um, and or can get through it on the other side and be okay. Um, just thankful every day that he's alive and can be there for our children. And the doctors were very, very concerned with that. You know, he was so young. He had two young kids. Mm-hmm. They needed to get him through this. Um, and, yeah, just the mindset is, like he was kind of saying, just live every day to the fullest. And uh, it kind of helps you remember that. So every day you're having a bad day. You are like, well, am I really having a bad day? Or, you know, and you remember back to that time. And, mm-hmm. you're like, no, we're pretty, we're pretty fortunate. And, you know. When now we can help others and tell their story and, yeah, you know, we can get through it and it's, it'll be okay. Welcome to Beyond the Scale, the show where everyday heroes share their stories on how they turn their lives around for the healthier. I'm Coach Brittany and today's guest is Katie Flores. She tells you why Fit Body Bootcamp is the most effective, least intimidating workout program that you'll find. Hope you enjoy. Welcome, Katie. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for, for <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thanks for coming all the way up from Arizona. Yeah, we're very happy to be here. Yeah, very excited. So before we get started today, I want to start with a little icebreaker game okay. that we like to call Would You Rather? Okay. So basically, oh I'm going to give you two different things. You're mm-hmm. going to tell me which one you would prefer. Okay. Okay. So first is, would you prefer to attend 5.30 a.m. or 5.30 p.m. sessions? 5.30 p.m. for sure. (laughs) Yeah. Would you rather do battle ropes for one minute or jump squats for one minute? Battle ropes. (laughs) No question. (laughs) Five burpees or ten jump squats? Uh, Five burpees. Yeah, Mm -hmm. okay. (laughs) Would you prefer to work out alone or with a friend? With a friend, yes. Okay. And lift weights or do cardio? Lift weights. (laughs) Okay, and now my last one is, would you rather sell all of your possessions or sell one of your organs? Hmm, probably an organ because, you know, there's some I could live without. <laughs> you need to go and give it back. I love yes, that. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you yeah, for playing Would You welcome. Rather. Yeah, anytime. <laughs> so you, um, we recently had your husband on, Manuel. Yes. And so you also attend the Gateway Fit Body Boot Camp location with him, right? Yep. So how do you enjoy that? I love it. It's um, it's kind of an everyday thing for me. I have lots of friends there, um, and I work there now, and I okay. just obviously can't get enough of it. <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you been a client? A client? About four years. Yeah, this December will be four years. Okay. Yeah. And you said, so you now work yes. at the location. Yes. How, how did that happen? <laughs> um, it just kind of happened. Um, I had some, I made friends with some of the people working there. Um, ben, who is my boss, and he's the owner of our seven locations, um, just kind of had an idea of a position, director of client, or director of client services, client services. Um, so we were just there to help the members mm. um, and help new members. Um, it just kind of snowballed from there. I went from about 10 hours a week to now it's a full-time position for me. Um, and I am now the kind of the senior director of client services. I help manage the seven locations. Well, congratulations it's, on yeah, that. Yeah, thanks. It's awesome. <laughs> I love it. And now, did, were you working before that or? Kind of. Okay. Um, I did hair for a little while for a couple years on and off. Mm-hmm. Had kids. Um, when my husband got sick, I took a little break. And then I started boot camp. And then I went back to work at cutting hair. And then um, kind of picked up the work at Fit Body slowly. And then it. And then I quit hair and then went full-time with Fit Body. And did you just feel like Fit Body and, mm-hmm. you know, that route was just more aligned with your purpose? Yeah. I mean, I've always kind of done different things and tried out different jobs. And hair, definitely I went to school for it. And then I I did it for work. It just wasn't really my passion. Um, but then got into fitness and, yeah, just really found my niche there. Nice. And were you into fitness before you started Fit Body? Yes. Yeah, I've always been active. I've always played sports. I played softball since I was about nine. Oh, um, nice. What position? And, I'm just curious because um, I used to play softball. Mostly outfield. Okay. <laughs> yes. I I could throw the ball, ball pretty far. Strong, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> and then just regular, I did weightlifting in high school and then um, just regular gym sessions and then found Fit Body and I really don't like to go anywhere else. <laughs> It's just, it's easy. They make it easy to get there. And how yeah. did you find Fit Body? So on our community Facebook page. Oh, okay. Um, 
the owner, Ben, moves to my boss now, um, posted on our community Facebook page, you know, here's a 30 day trial, come try us out, we're just down the street. And I was like, why not? This sounds great, you know? And I did, and I fell in love with it. So you were going to a, a different gym or were you just working out on your own um, before that? I wasn't really doing much. Okay. Um, at that point, my husband was going through cancer mm -hmm. and healing up from that. Um, so that took a lot of our time and our health. <clears throat> Sorry, a little emotional about it. No, it's okay. But um, I kind of was just neglecting myself. We had a two and a four-year-old to take care of and get through this process as well. Um, not much family out there with us. Lots of amazing friends who are our family. But... Um, yeah, I was just kind of doing some workouts at home if I could, um, maybe some hip hop abs or something, there you so, go. Like, you know, <laughs> something fun. But um, I needed more structure, mm -hmm. and I needed. I was getting losing muscle. I was. I just needed myself back. Now, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, that is a huge mm -hmm. thing and huge weight that you had yeah. to, you know, deal with and go through mm -hmm. as a family together. So your man, your manual, <laughs> your, it is your manual, your husband manual, you know, talked mm -hmm. about you being his rock and his support mm -hmm. through the whole process. How, how did you manage to do that oh. and just stay strong? I honestly don't even know. It's just what I did. Um, I had, I had no other choice. I mm -hmm. mean, we had two young kids. Um, he needed so much help and we just needed to get him better. Mm -hmm. Um, thank goodness for our amazing friends out there. And then family would come out to visit and help us. But really, I just, I just did it. I mean, I wouldn't not do it. <laughs> yeah. It just, it was a lot of emotional, emotional ro roller coaster up and down and it was scary. I, I yeah. can't even imagine, mm -hmm. especially like he was saying, like, <laughs> yeah. just, you know, p di doctors diagnosing him, mm -hmm. you know, with the wrong things. You guys are going through all this. That was don't frustrating. Know what's wrong. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And then just having the kids and there was two week period, two separate week periods where he was in the hospital, you know, and so we'd want to go see him every day. And that was extra back and forth mm -hmm. with the kids and they didn't know what was going on. And now we drive by the hospital on the freeway and they're like, there's daddy's doctors. And Aww. they just, they, they, re they have certain things they remember. So luckily just the good parts. Good. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, through this whole time that, you know, you guys are going through all of the diagnosis, the mm -hmm. surgeries and everything like that. Um, how, like, obviously you were a rock on the outside, but mm -hmm. on the inside, how did you feel? Like, what were you going through? Well, I was scared, definitely. Mm -hmm. There was some very scary moments. Um, there was, his blood pressure medicine wasn't correct at first. Mm -hmm. They had to up it, and so that was a very scary night. Um, I don't know. He just, his blood pressure got so high, he was delirious, and we just had to rush him off to the hospital and had a friend come over with the kids. It was late at night and took him. That was probably the scariest moment. So just a lot of being scared, um, needing to stay strong. It was exhausting, um, but we just had to get him through it. Yep. Now, would you say there's anything <clears throat> else that you were faced with in life before all this that, you know, you had to be this strong at? Or, like, did you just learn how strong you were going through this process? That was, yes, probably this, him being sick, I mean, I didn't, yes, I didn't know I was, I knew I could be physically strong, but mm -hmm. to hold yourself together and also let yourself be emotional when you need to, that's hard. Um, I was super, super strong. And I, when that night he went to the hospital for the first time, I, that was the first time I broke down through this whole process, um, just needing to stay strong for him. Um, I've had a pretty easy life, you know, it's been amazing that way. I've been very lucky with that. Um, so I'm just glad I was there for him and we could go through that together. And yeah. how did your husband's <clears throat> cancer, like strengthen your mindset and like help you guys mm -hmm. bond with each other grow? I, it's definitely something very serious we've gone through together and not a lot of people go through hardships like that. Um, and, or can get through it on the other side and be okay. Um, just thankful every day that he's alive and can be there for our children and the doctors were very, very concerned with that. You know, he was so young. He had two young kids. Mm -hmm. They needed to get him through this. Um, and, yeah, just the mindset is, like he was kind of saying, just live every day to the fullest. And uh, it kind of helps you remember that. So every day you're having a bad day. You are like, well, am I really having a bad day? Or, you know, and you remember back to that time. And mm -hmm. you're like, no, we're pretty, we're pretty fortunate. And, you know. Well, now we can help others and tell their story and yeah. 
you know, you can get through it and it's, it'll be okay. Yes. I I love that you were able to help him stay positive and you stay positive Mm -hmm. yourself because sometimes people, you know, you can just get in a really negative mindset and go, you know, just spiral downhill. Oh, for sure. You know, being sunk in like the sickness and at the end of the day, it doesn't help. Honestly, I feel like with our two kids, there wasn't any time for really thinking that way because I had to be there for them and we had to get him better so he could be there for us. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, Manuel mentioned that you're the one that introduced him to mm-hmm. FitBody. So <laughs> yeah. how did you, you know, how did you think that FitBody would work well with him um, going through everything that he went through? Um, because it was structured mm-hmm. and he could go in and do his workout and really scale it to what he needed. You know, instead of just walking into a big box gym and not knowing what to do. Um, so luckily, um, Ben, our coach, had some background in cancer research and was very um, interested and helpful and really helped us get him manual back into the workout routine and the nutrition and everything. So it took me a couple months to get him in there (laughs) because he was like, I don't know, you know, who goes to these type of things. It's just a lot of women, a lot of moms. I'm like, no, no, there's tons of men. And he has made some, we both have some really great relationships there, really good friends now. Um, definitely there are second family. I always call it my second family, but yeah, getting him there, he needed to come because honestly, like I had that as my part of my life now and he wasn't part of it. And it was kind of weird. I'm like, you need to come do this with me. We need to do this together. And, um, we still go most days at four o'clock together for four forty, and see our same friends and, you know, family there. And it's great. That's awesome. Yeah. So what type of effect has FitBody had on your own life? Well, I mean, it is it is a huge part of my life now because it's now my, my job, and it's also a passion of mine. I started off just really getting to help a lot of the members and the clients, and now I get to really also help, still help them, but also help my other teammates. Um, I'm able to be there for them, and I like to be able to support them and um, just seeing these new faces come into the gym every day is, is pretty cool, especially the ones that are scared and nervous. Yes. You can really go up to them and comfort them. And it's given me a sense of just something for me to do. I've always been a kind of a caretaker and take care of everybody. Always there to yeah. support and take yeah. care of everyone. That's yeah, awesome. I love it. Yep. But at the end of the day, mm-hmm. I'm sure you know how important it is that for you to take care of yourself in order for yes. you to to take care of everyone yes. else. So. Yeah, that, that's a big thing we say in our new our new member orientations is we use the the flight mask, the mask and the flights. You know, you got to help yourself first and then you can help others. Oh, yeah, like yeah, the, 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 plane, air, the air, yeah, exactly. the oxygen. So that's a big thing. So we keep ourselves healthy and fit and we're there to be role models and help um, everybody else coming in. So we are just, I mean, with our seven locations, we're just there. We just want to help everybody in the community. Nice. Yeah. So how do you help teach fitness to your kids? They like to come to the gym with us. Well, they, they do a lot of times and they get to see us working out. They love running around on the mat after a workout. Um, I see them doing box jumps and burpees and they have just learned that it's a way of life. My daughter's even said to me that she wants to be a coach, Aww. like coach Ben one day. Oh, <laughs> and um, so cute. They see it and I think she'd be great because she's She can tell people what to do, (laughs) but um, they know it's important. Um, Our son is going to start playing soccer. Um, Our daughter's done dance, and they just love being active and playing around. Yeah, and they know it's a big part of our life. Yeah. And now, did you and Manuel used to work out (laughs) together Mm pre-cancer diagnosis? Yeah, we would go. um, He kind of, before that, maybe did his own thing, like with CrossFit or something Mm -hmm. for a while, but we would... We used to go to like spin classes together early in the morning when we were younger. Um, We would do regular gym workouts together. So we've we've always had that um, kind of, I guess, a passion together, you know, and it fit lifestyle and riding bikes and going for runs or whatnot. There you go. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yep. (laughs) And now, how many times a week do you work out? Five. Sometimes six. Okay. <laughs> it depends <laughs> if I want to, if I like that workout. No. <laughs> but, um, yeah, about about five times a week, I would say. And what yeah. makes you want to work out so often? Because when I don't, I don't feel good. I haven't started my day right. 
Um, I sometimes will go in the morning, sometimes I go in the afternoons, it just depends. But um, yeah, if I don't get a workout in, I feel like part of my day is not, com my day's mm -hmm. not complete. Um, I like the way it makes me feel, even if I'm having just a kind of a crappy day and, you know, not feeling great. I'm like, just put on your, your leggings and go work out. You will feel so much better afterwards. It's only 30 minutes, um, get it done. And our friends are there. Um, and since I've been there so long, I know a lot of the people there. So I know I'll always see someone I know. Yeah. It's always like a welcoming feeling. Oh yeah. Right? Yeah. And I mean, I know if, you give that welcoming yes. feeling to so many people too. Yeah. And even if I don't, like I'm going to meet somebody new. There's always new people at the gym. So what type of transformations mm -hmm. have you seen since going to Fit Body, whether it be mentally or physically? Mm -hmm. So with myself? Yeah, with yourself. Okay. <laughs> I've seen lots of transformations. <laughs> um, myself has definitely, you know, physically gotten a lot stronger, you know, going from doing push-ups on your knees to doing 10 full push-ups in a row, um, deadlifting 255 pounds. That Ooh, was my, girl. that was my one rep max. <laughs> I don't know if I could do it again, <laughs> but, um, you know, getting stronger at pull-ups, so definitely a lot of physical changes. Just watching my body transform. Um, I'm I'm tall, I'm five foot nine. I carry a lot of weight, but just seeing it be muscle, going from that like soft fluff that I was when I first started, <laughs> um, just watching that transformation. And then obviously mentally, I've become a lot stronger, knowing that I can push through. This 30 minutes, I might hate it at the time because it's hard, but I know that's challenging me. Um, and that's also been a big transformation for me is just doing stuff out of my comfort zone. And, you know, a lot of those workouts are out of your comfort zone. And you just got to do it and get through it and you'll come out the other side better. Yeah, yeah change better person. and success always comes mm -hmm. from stepping outside yes. of your comfort zone no matter what that. area of life you're in. <laughs> yeah. And now, so how do you help your clients that mm -hmm. come in? Like, let's say they're struggling like with you know, mentally pushing themselves to mm -hmm. get to the gym or complete their workouts. Mm -hmm. How do you help them? Well, I mean, I do have one big example that I will always remember. I was sitting in my car going, I think I was coming or going into work, into the gym. And I was talking, part of my job was to take phone calls from people that were interested in coming to the gym. So I answered the call for this one lady. And I talked to her for probably about 30 minutes on the phone because she was so nervous to come in. Um, she was, she had already been working out. She was already pretty strong, but she had such a bad experience somewhere else. Mm -hmm. I was just reassuring her, just come in, just come in. You'll love it. And she ended up being a member for over a year. And the only reason she left because she moved, Okay. but oh man, she became one of our like top athletes there, like huge part of the fit body family. Um, so that was, that's a big thing I remember helping people and just then just the everyday stuff. You see someone new walk into the gym and they're just standing there by themselves, unsure. Um, so we go up to them, we welcome them, we introduce them to other people and we just make them feel welcome. And that's a big part. Also, a lot of people come to us for advice, whether it's nutrition, like, oh, what do you, what do you do? And we share our nutrition and our um, advice and then maybe even plan to work out with some of these people, you know, some of these newbies, um, just to make them feel comfortable. Yeah. I think that's great. I think mm -hmm. that's a huge thing because, you know, these people, these clients that come in, mm -hmm. like it, for a lot of them, it's so hard just to take that first yep. step in. Yep. And the fact that once they get there, they're welcomed with open arms. Like yes. they're probably like, oh. yes. Cause I know like for me going into like other gents, I'm like, Oh my gosh, well, what yeah, do I do? Exactly. Like, yeah. And we, yeah. Fit body, that is our main goal. Family, community, make people feel welcome. Otherwise, they're not going to come back. Exactly. You know? And, and mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it's like they're not going to come back and mm -hmm. their lives are not going to get better. Exactly. Yep. If it, they're going to stay the way they mm -hmm. are or get worse. Yes, exactly. Yep. So what does living beyond the scale mean to you? Oh, um, you know, it's just being a kind person and reaching out to others you see struggling. Um, just working and being at Fit Body has taught me that. It's not all about me. There's other people in the world with struggles and, you know, just kind of living our life like it has a purpose. Um, you know, you don't think you have a story to tell, but you do. And this has helped. <laughs> <laughs> and Fit Body has helped just realize deep down inside we're here for a reason and we're here to help other people. 
Um, and then, of course, family and friends are very, very important to us. And we surround ourselves by with a lot of people. We're always active and busy and just want the most out of our life we can get. Yep. Well, thank you for sharing well, that. Yeah, I'm glad I could. <laughs> Is there any parting words that you'd like to tell our <clears throat> listeners out there? Um, don't be afraid to go beyond what you're comfortable with, um, whether that's talking in front of a camera <laughs> or coming into the gym and finding yourself. <laughs> thank you so much yeah. for sharing, Katie. Yeah, I mean, I want to thank you for being such a rock um, in your community and for your family. <laughs> And, you know, noticing that you still got to mm -hmm. take care of yourself at the end of yes, the day. So thank true. you so much for sharing everything. You're welcome. Thank you. And for those of you out there that want to go work out with Katie, her husband, Manuel, Ben, and the rest <laughs> of the crew, make sure you go to Gateway Fit Body Boot Camp. Mm -hmm. And if you're not in that area, make sure you go to fitbodybootcamp.com to find a location near you and claim your three free workouts. Until next time. <laughs> Did you know that you could have done a full workout in the amount of time it took you to listen to this podcast? Go to fitbodybootcamp.com to claim your three free sessions now. And remember to join me next Tuesday so you can see who our special guest is. Until then, remember to live a fit body, fit mind forever.